Dreamcast fans, get ready to relive the golden age of gaming on your mobile. Imagine playing timeless classics like Sonic Adventure and Shenmue anytime, anywhere. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set up Flycast and Redream, two of the best Dreamcast emulators for Android. Whether you want Flycast's deep customization and compatibility with Naomi and Atomus Wave games, or Redream's streamlined simplicity and smooth gameplay, we've got you covered. Plus, I'll share insider tips to maximize performance, improve video visuals, and make your games run buttery smooth. Stick around to see which emulator takes the crown, Flycast or Read Ream. Trust me, this is the Dreamcast revival you've been waiting for. Let's jump in. First up, let's set up Flycast. Head to the Flycast GitHub page or download it from the Google Play Store. I personally prefer GitHub because it always has the latest version and it's a great fallback if it's ever removed from the Play Store. On the GitHub repository, you'll find versions for all platforms. Download the APK and install the emulator on your phone. Once installed, create a new folder in your phone storage called Flycast. This will serve as the system folder for the Flycast emulator. Inside this folder, create another folder specifically for your games. Flycast supports various game file formats, so simply drop your game files into this folder. Now launch the Flycast emulator. Its interface is simple and easy to navigate, but don't let that fool you. It's incredibly powerful. Click on Add Game Folder, which will open your phone's file manager. Navigate to the folder you just created. Click on Use this folder, then allow Flycast to access files in Dreamcast. Your games will now appear in the library. Before we start gaming, let's tweak the settings to optimize performance. Open the settings menu and make a few adjustments. Start by setting the cable type to VGA for sharper visuals, then link the folders you created under Content Location for quick access. Enable Load and Save in Automatic State. For video settings, choose Vulkan as the renderer for the best performance. Set transparent sorting to per pixel for improved accuracy and adjust the aspect ratio to widescreen for a modern display experience. You can also set the internal resolution to 2x or match your device's native resolution. If your hardware can handle it, enable anisotropic filtering and set it to 16 for enhanced textures. And there you have it. Flycast is ready to deliver an amazing gaming experience. But how does it stack up against Read Ream? Keep watching to find out. Next, let's move on to the Red Ream emulator. Read Ream is available on the Google Play Store, already over 1 million downloads and a solid 4.1 star rating. For your kind information, Read Ream has a premium version, but light version is totally free and available all the features. Like Flycast, Read Ream emulates the Dreamcast console and supports the same game files. Go to the library and click on Add Directory. Navigate to your game folder and your games will now appear in the library. Configuring Read Ream is straightforward. Set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 for widescreen gameplay or stretch it for full display. In the system settings, ensure VGA is selected under the cable option for optimal visuals. Read Ream is more streamlined compared to Flycast with fewer settings to adjust. However, it's just as easy to use. Now it's time to play some games on both emulators and see which one works best for you. So, which emulator is better? Flycast offers more customization options and compatibility, making it a powerhouse for advanced users. On the other hand, Red Ream shines with its simplicity and ease of use, perfect for gamers who want to jump straight into the action. Both have their strengths, but the choice ultimately depends on your preferences and device capabilities. Let us know in the comments which which one you prefer. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more emulator content. And remember, whether you're Team Flycast or Team Redream, the Dreamcast legacy lives on through you.